Aurora police have a trust and transparency problem that's been years in the making. The department itself will admit that much. And they also now admit that the story that they told the public about a police shooting, the one that killed a 14 year old boy, the fact that he had a semi automatic handgun, not a fact, wasn't true. It was a pellet gun. Let's bring in Mark Salinger, who's been sorting out the timeline, Mark, of what Aurora police knew about this when, what they told the public, as well as what they told the 14 year old's family. Yeah, that press release on June 1st that announced all of this says Aurora officers killed a suspect who was, quote, armed with a firearm. We now know that for nearly a week, Chief Art Acevedo was publicly telling people at meetings that 14 year old Jordell Richardson had a semi automatic weapon when he was shot and killed by police after robbing a convenience store. Then the story changed completely. Communications team at Aurora Police won't answer our questions, but Chief Acevedo will respond to our tweets on his personal account. He said he only found out that Jordell was carrying a pellet gun, you see it there on your screen, on June 8th before a press conference. That's what the pellet gun looked like you just saw. The Aurora Sentinel spoke with Acevedo last night after a meet, uh, city council meeting. He told them it was a communications issue within the department and that the only reason he found out it was actually a pellet gun is because he asked. From press conferences to community meetings, Acevedo publicly shared the same story for days of a weapon or firearm being found before quickly changing the story. And then very quickly, we would hear one gunshot go off and within a, almost a millisecond, you see uh, the, the weapon, the, the somehow automatic uh, weapon that uh, he had in his, the Jordan had in his waistband go flying. And the fire on the right is an HK USP, a pellet gun. And I can tell you that yesterday I confirmed, was able to confirm with my team that he was actually carrying uh, the firearm on the right, which is an exact replica of so why it took eight days to make that jump from a gun to a pellet gun is still a question that rural police will not answer. A lawyer representing Jordell's family tells me Acevedo is either quote misleading the public or hiding behind his own incompetence. Jordell's family is now demanding an apology and that Acevedo resign as the chief of the Aurora Police Department. Yeah, we really would like to know when somebody first realized that it's a pellet gun. Presumably, they realized it the moment that they picked up and cleared that weapon at the scene, but that was a job likely done by the CERT team, the outside team investigating the shooting. Yeah, that's a critical incident response team, and those are the people who usually investigate officer-involved shootings. So they take all the facts, all the information, and then come up with their plan of ha what exactly happened. That, of course, raises the question of whether or not Acevedo is the best person to be speaking with the family, speaking with the public, releasing information if he himself admits that he doesn't know all the information. It's the kind of momentary confusion that you could understand happening in a situation like this, and that's where the benefit of the doubt comes into play. And as APD would acknowledge, they have vaporized the benefit of the doubt in the community over the last couple of years. So that's why questions exist. Mark, thank you for your work on this.